Today I'm gonna be doing a day of a six year old. Look, it's a week I gone to. She must have lost it in the middle of the night and was starts crying. Where's my tooth and where was it? Laying in my bed where I slept. <laughs> yep. This is what it looks like. There it is. It's my tooth. Watching her YouTubers eating her cereal. I forget to brush my hair a lot, and this is what happens. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun. Get it? Not. Not I love fun. Here's <laughs> Daisy. Say hi. Hi. It's school time. Okay, what do you want to do first? Socks. you do on a rainy day? Oh my gosh, she got me twice. I tried to tell you that. I know. Yeah, now Mom Bean's wiping herself with her spit. I'm gonna go do some ABC Mouse. All right. Bye guys! So I actually have the ABC Mouse app downloaded on my phone as well. So Emmy has her own and I let her do her time on my phone while Lila is over here doing hers over here. So they're gonna have about an hour probably of phone slash computer time. Hey, get down. Cuz, you're not supposed to climb up there. All right, so I couldn't film the girls a few minutes ago because it was pouring rain. They were naked and jumping on the trampoline. So now we have clothes on and Lila's gonna give us a little tour and show us some of the things that she would do in her normal day. All right, here is our little garden plot. We have some big sunflowers all right here on the outside. We have some nice beans and tomatoes and cucumbers, onions, all that good stuff. And then here's our compost. We try to put it kind of close. All right, so explain to us what's going on over here. So we dumped it out right here and then once it starts to get all yucky and it starts to depose, we put it on the side. We try to separate it and you can actually see, look Lila, that's probably a, uh, cantaloupe right there coming up in the garden or a cucumber something's coming up right there something's coming up right here, here we have a here, bean here. something's coming up right here right here right here the ditch I catch frogs in this so it was foggy but it's starting to clear up there are probably tadpoles in here and then we got snakes all out here so on a regular day I like to call Lila and Emmy, my free range kids. We don't have neighbors. Um, this is like all of our property out here. It butts up to some ponds and fields. So they pretty much have free range. Um, we've tried to teach them how to identify poisonous snakes. Lila, would you like to tell everybody one way to identify a poisonous snake versus a non-poisonous snake? What's a well, really- two ways. There's the eye, because sometimes they can have that with the dental shape of head, but then their body, but it's also their eyes. So it's really important that they're not only able to identify poisonous snakes, but also poisonous plants, because as we, ha as we have recently discovered, we have a lot of poison ivy on our property. So yeah, Lila, do you want to tell everybody how to identify poison ivy? So poison ivy, um, there's poison oak, poison sumac, and poison ivy. And poison ivy is shiny sometimes, yep. and it has three leaves, and they're sometimes small, and it can often be big. Oh, look at the snake! Where? Oh my god, you missed it. Come here, come here. Okay. You see where all this dust is put up? Oh yeah. Trail, look. Well, we can't identify that one because it's under the deck in the nasty water. But yeah, okay, so this is one of her hangout spots. You haven't actually been out here today, right? 
Okay, so sh let's go show them something else, okay? And this is her trusty partner, always by her side. I can catch these The father will die. We got a really cool tree right here, and it has a hole to the other side. <laughs> so yeah, why don't we move on to, I call it the second pond, but it's really the first pond connected. Oh, <gasps> baby frog, a baby frog. Oh, it's cute. Look, two roly polies, y'all, two roly polies. Okay, and now we really have to wash our hands good because you just were all in the poison ivy. So this is the poison ivy. That's some. See how shiny the leaves are? That's the oils on the leaves. I've been researching a lot on different um, like educational styles and Charlotte Mason was one that always kind of stuck with me and she is very big on um, like nature study. When a child graduates from kindergarten, she wants them to be able to identify, I wanna say it was five birds, five plants. Um, so it's really just kinda giving you an idea of like how much they should be outside and, oh, and the, the songs of different birds and all that kind of stuff, it's really cool. You finish your school, you come outside, and what do you do for the rest of the day? I usually play. Yeah. And then watch TV a little bit after. Yep. And then if it's Friday, I go to Gabby's. So. What's going on over here? Uh, Makeup. Okay. Well, I'm still out. Okay. And then let me see. Wow, that's so nice. Oh, it's sparkly, not for not to be sparkled. Are you at Lila's salon? Good I'm at beauty parlor. Let me see. Oh, beautiful. Oh. I wasn't gonna. I am beautiful. You gotta get out of here. I paid her to do this and she did it anyway. I didn't even pay her. <laughs> okay, guys. You know how yesterday my tooth was gone? Um, I forgot to touch the under my pillow. So let's have a little look. Makeup. So yeah, bye guys. Hey. Emmy, hold on. Bye.